What is Solar Club? This video will explain how to maximize your earnings and credits when selling your excess solar power back to the grid. Horizon Utilities is an Alberta-based utility retailer aiming to help homeowners reduce their energy bills while maximizing their solar earnings. What makes us different than all those other choices on the market? We have one of the lowest admin fees for utilities. Solar Club rates are a wise choice if you are getting or already have solar on your roof. Alberta homeowners should consider switching. The reason you want to think about that is so you earn more value from your solar generation. The way it works in Alberta is when you're classified as a microgenerator, that is, production under 5 megawatts, you're plugged and able to sell back to the grid. Whether your panels are on your roof or if you have the space to have a ground mount system, the microgeneration regulation in Alberta says you can only sell back at the same price you're buying. So if you're buying from the grid and importing power at nighttime at 10 cents a kilowatt hour, then during the day when you're producing more than you consume, you can only sell at 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Solar Club rates allow you to earn more. We offer a higher premium rate in the summertime when production is up. That is when you're a net exporter or positive producer. In the summertime, we help you earn more value from your microgen credits. Then during the winter, you can switch to our competitive low rates when you're gonna be a net importer. Switching is as easy as a click of a button on your account. Let me explain the structure of the market in a way that might help you understand your place in it as a utility consumer and what all those lines are on your bill. In Alberta, for electricity, there are really four factors. Anybody can plug into the grid and generate power, so that's an open market. The ability to transport around the province on those large transmission lines is a regulated sector of the market. Certain companies are given certain rights to do that. The same thing when it steps down into the municipalities. Those are your distribution companies. 40s, Atco Electric, Inmax, Epcor, and the co-ops. Power gets generated, gets delivered around the province through distribution companies, gets in the community, and then comes to your home. Eventually, you pay your bills. So that's where the competition happens, where utility retailers exist. When you look at your bill, the top half shows your usage in kilowatt hours and then some flat monthly admin rates. That's where you have a choice and prices between Horizon Utilities and other providers around the province can vary. You don't have that same choice in the bottom half of your bill, your distribution, transmission, municipal access, and various other riders and fees. Those are gonna be the same with every provider you choose. One thing to consider about the bottom half of your bill, as a microgenerator and solar producer, you are drawing less from the grid, meaning those distribution and transmission fees will be less. The distribution fee will be a mix of a flat monthly rate based on the size of the customer you are, as well as a usage-based fee. So if you are drawing less from the grid, then that usage-based portion will be less. With the transmission fees, it's an all usage-based fee. So if you are drawing less from the grid, you will be charged less there as well. The benefit of having solar is that you're using less, so those monthly charges will be less while you get to earn from what you sell to the grid. If you play it right, with solar club rates, you will earn more from production sold to the grid, cover all fees, and have a credit left. Will you have an energy bill at the end of the year with solar? Yes, if you're tied to the grid, you're always gonna have a bill. That's the reality. There's always gonna be those bottom charges because that's the price we pay for being connected to the grid. That is the price we pay for reliable infrastructure. The better question is whether you will be a net importer or a net exporter. Did you use more electricity than you generated? If so, you'll likely have to pay some extra to cover the difference. Did you generate more electricity than you used? If so, you could end up with a credit on your account, earning you some money back. How do the wire providers determine the price of the distribution fees? Every company's formula is a bit different, but the factors they'll consider are the classification of your property, residence, farm, acreage, etc., the infrastructure around your property, how far is it from any generation or transmission step downs, historical usage, how much electricity has this business or home used, based on these. Using their formula, the providers determine what they're going to be charging. How does the credit system work for the customer? Following your solar installation as a microgenerator, if not swapped already, the wire company will swap your meter for a new bi-directional meter. The new electric meter will allow electricity into your property as well as out to the grid. With that, you can receive credit for the electricity that you push out onto the grid. Most customers will be producing during the day and drawing from the grid during the night. So all that usage is tracked by the wires company. You'll still have a regular bill with a kilowatt hour usage amount but you'll also have another item for a microgen credit. 
It's going to track how many kilowatt hours you send out to the grid and then compensate you. Can I receive real money instead of a credit? Verizon Utilities, along with other Solar Club providers, keep your credit on your account and carry it into the next month. The policy with Horizon Utilities and other Solar Club providers is when your credit reaches $200, we issue a refund via direct deposit. This is an excellent summer benefit. If I use a lot of energy, will it affect my bill? With solar energy, the electricity you produce comes down into your main electricity panel and is distributed out in your home to whatever uses electricity at that time. Your house will use some of your solar production and the rest will be sent to the grid. Your bi-directional meter keeps track of how much you're drawing from the grid and how much you're exporting. If possible, it may be beneficial to consider shifting some of your electricity use. Heavy consuming appliances are better used during the day. Oftentimes, solar producers do things like their big laundry loads and use of dishwashers during the day when they're producing their power. Horizon Utilities' mission is to assist homeowners in protecting their energy bills from soaring, transitioning to green energy, and owning their power. Founded by Horizon Solar, we understand the importance of being transparent, honest, and upfront, ensuring our clients are comfortable with their decisions and choices. For more information or to sign up for Solar Club right away, check out our website, horizonutilities.ca, 